What's up, guys? It's Sutek, and it's October 11th, 2017. And I wanted to share a few things with you guys today. Um, Electronium, the update on that, uh, Bitpetit, and some news and other information. Starting off with Electronium, today is the final day of the 20% bonus. So tomorrow, the bonus goes down to 10%. And then from 10% it goes down to 0%. So you have another day of 20% bonuses before it goes down to 10%. So get in now if you if you can afford it or if you're interested, get in right now. And uh, take advantage of that extra 10% that you're going to get today. So we're up to 64,000 just about registered. That's up from 55,000 yesterday. So this thing is flying, growing very fast, growing extremely quick. Uh, my my ETN coins are up to 32,000. I bought 8,000 more yesterday. And I also have 12,000 coming via referrals. So I'm really excited about this coin looks excellent. I'm really excited about it and I can't wait to see what they roll out November 1st. It's, good. it's going to be something special, I really think. Now, Bipati. I was off board with this at first. However, after going over the site with a fine tooth comb and analyzing the service, I think it's totally worthwhile and on the up and up. Because, first of all, they're providing a service that has practical use. And that's being a transaction anonymizer. So all they do is take one transaction, send it to a bunch of different addresses, and then resend it to the main address to make it look like coins are coming from a bunch of different addresses. So therefore, you cannot really trace back the origin of where the money is coming from. Now, that's a service that some might look at as shady, you know, very skeptical. They're not really sure the intent behind the people who are sending the money, but that really doesn't matter. I mean, there's going to be people that have good intentions and bad intentions behind every type of transaction, no matter where. You know the money is being sent through so my thing is that this is a very practical use of a service and so all you're paying you're investing in the transaction fees because there are additional transaction fees that take place because of there's so many micro transactions going on so that's what you're buying into and that's what you're paying for. And as a result, because you're paying for it, you get a kickback from the transactions. And that's where your profits come from. So, to me, Bipati, um is here to stay as far as I'm concerned. It, to me, it looks like this site will go forward so as long as people need to use anonymous transactions. So, yeah, I'm going to put in about $10 today and I'll go from there. But to me, this is definitely, uh, uh, I definitely misread this site because of the graphics, kind of like how it looked. I, I guess I didn't really understand it, but now that I understand it, it makes total sense. And I have confidence in it that it's going to be here for a long time, so... Let's take a look at some news. Panama City strip mall merchants embrace Bitcoin customers. This is all on my website, sutexcrypto.com. I have all the news and information here if you guys want to check it out.
Panama blockchain embassy and crypto buyer are persuading an entire Panamanian strip mall to accept Bitcoin. Well, that's a little bit different than what the uh, headline said, but let's see. The Panama blockchain embassy and the company crypto buyer want, wants the Balboa boutique strip mall to be the first mall in the world to have any, every merchant except Bitcoin. Frias tells news.bitcoin.com that merchants in the mall are utilizing the startup's point of sale device, the machine that allows purchase, the purchasing of items with Bitcoin by printing out an address QR code and operates similarly to a traditional credit card terminal. A great interest from tourists and locals regarding digital, digital currencies was the trigger to push the adoption of crypto buyer pay in Balboa boutiques. So here we just have another, you know, rung in the ladder to mass adoption that's being climbed. Billionaire Michael Novogratz, Bitcoin's price will reach 10K in less than a year. Well, that's very plausible because it's already almost up to resistance at 5,000. So we're almost breaking through that $5,000 resistance level. Where's my, where's my graph? 4856. So that's what we're up to right now. Ex-fund manager Michael Novogratz has said in an interview that he believes the value of a Bitcoin will reach $10,000 in six to ten months so once we get all the segwits out of the way I believe that's very easy but the thing that keeps on holding it up from expanding to that level is the constant FUD caused by these segwits and forks and people panic dump right before they take place so then the, you know the coin has to work its way back up again and then it's dumped again when the you know right before the next fork or the announcement of the fork. So I think once all the FUD gets out of the market, I think we're going to see it definitely hit ten thousand. That's what I'll have for you guys today. Um, sign up for a bit petite electronium. Like I said, last day for the 20%, so hop on that. Check out sutexcrypto.com. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell so you get the updates. And I'll talk to you guys very soon, probably later today. So I'll see you then. Peace.